Hello everyone, welcome to Filmora Tutorials. In this video, we will see that how can we add SFX or sound special effects into our videos through Wondershare Filmora software. So sound special effects actually help us to add special uh, emphasis on particular words, particular text, particular uh, duration of the video. So let's see. Uh, first of all, I have imported this video into my working area. You can just import any of the video files whose sound you want to manipulate. The second step is you need to right click and click on detach audio. This is not actually a essential step, but it is a good practice if you detach the audio from the video so that you can work on it easily. The next step is you just select the audio file, the audio track, right click over here, go to adjust audio. Here you will get this kind of a um, equalizer or you can say controls panel that you can work with. Okay. So using this, you can manipulate the pitch of the audio. You can equalize it. You can denoise it and you can lower the volume of the other clips or you can perform ducking as well. Hmm. Other options are fade in and fade out. So fade in is basically that how your uh, video starts. If right now I play this clip. This is a, a high pitch. If you just lower the pitch. So this is how basically you can adjust the pitch as per your wish. And let's just play it. So if you just uh, use for this fade in option, then what happens is the duration is uh, coming over here. Okay, so let's just set it around four to five seconds. Play it. So this is actually that slowly the voice will fade in. That means uh, in the starting, the quality would be lower, the volume would be lower and slowly it will start to ramp up. Similarly, with fade out, you can select a specific duration and at that duration, the volume begins to slowly scale down. So this is a good effect with the starting and the ending video just to symbolize where the video is starting and where it is ending. Okay. Next we have is the equalizer. So we have a different types of options in this equalizer like classic, dance, low bass, sparkle, pop, rock and roll, etc. These all you can actually apply into your sound. So suppose I say, let's go with a pop. If I play it mm, all the way from the beginning. So this is the pop effect. If you want a classic effect, then that also we can do. But if you want to customize the equalizer effect, so you can simply just go to the customize button. Here are these different options that are given to you. And according to your wish, you can actually customize that how you want your sound quality to be. So just manipulate these values a little bit. Listen to your sound again and again. And once you're happy with it, let's just go with it. So this is what I'm happy with it. And once you are done with all of these manipulations, you can simply just click on OK and all these manipulations would be applied onto your video. Then you can export it and use it. Otherwise, if you are not happy with these changes or you want to reset all of these changes in the left side, you will see this reset button. Just click on that and all the values would change back to the default values that were there. OK, mm. let's just keep it as default and let's just strong denoise it click on OK. That's good for me. And this sound feels good to me. So I'm happy with it. I'm going to keep this sound only. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.